Fresh from the showcase here at Swiss Watch Expo, uh, this morning we're talking about some of the Louis Cartier tank watches and how that relates to the sizes that have been offered over the years. It really is sort of confusing. The tank watch goes back 100 years, you know, back to 1917 when the first one was presented to General Blackjack Pershing as a thank you gift for keeping France free in World War I. Uh, they've made so many sizes since then. Cartier does tend to respond to the public's tastes and change things a little bit. Uh, over and over and over, they've done different sizes and they've run out of names to call them. So there's so many different models called large or small or extra large or jumbo that it's really uh, difficult to, to put a, a pin on exactly what those words mean. So to make it a little bit more clear, these are some of the biggest ones they've made in the Cartier tank watch line. Uh, the, the tank watch is interesting in that it's one of the smaller watches that has continued to stay extremely popular all through the jumbo watch sort of revolution of the last 20 years. It's, um, it's a, a true gentleman's size watch. It's uh, the size watch that someone like, say, Cary Grant or John F. Kennedy wore. In fact, they did wear this watch. And uh, yet, for the modern man, you might decide that the current, quote, large, Louis Cartier tank is the perfect size for you. That one came out in 2017 for the 100th anniversary of the tank watch. They revamped the sizes once again in 2017. So uh, if you want the, the current editions, those would be the ones that you're looking for. The ones right before that were uh, launched as a water resistant model for the first time. And you'll notice that on the case back, you'll see eight screws. That's the, the big telltale sign that you're looking at that one. And it's the fact that it says water resistant. But in between those two, this model was made, which is called the XL, and it truly is an extra large one. Uh, generally speaking, the men's Cartier tank watches are around 25 millimeters wide. This one's about 35. So it's a huge jump compared to the others. The one we have here is an 18 karat rose gold, and it is uh, interesting that it did come out in rose gold. The original Louis Cartier tank was in yellow gold, of course, but continuing the trend of giving the public what it asks for. Cartier did launch this one in rose gold. One of the things about it, not only is it quite large at uh, roughly 35 by 40 millimeters, 35 wide, 40 high, it's only 5.1 millimeters thick. And that is thanks to an ultra thin Piaget movement that's inside. It's a hand wound mechanical. Uh, they call it the 430 MC when they turn it into a Cartier movement. If you look at a picture of this movement, you'll see the plates have the Cartier double C logo motif engraved all over them. It's a beautiful movement. But one of the ways they kept the watch really thin was by not giving you the exhibition case back. You can see it's a solid case back, and this is one of the reasons why they're able to make it as an ultra thin watch. Uh, it does come with the 18 karat gold buckle, and with the highest uh, quality alligator straps that Cartier makes, these are the ones that are uh, called the bamboo portion of the, it's the most expensive exclusive part of the alligator skin but you can see on the wrist i've got pretty average size wrists and you can see that it's a good size it is not the small louis cartier tank that uh, is most of the rest of the line so if you're looking for the classic louis cartier shape but you like a bigger watch this one is not only quite large but because it's so thin it would fit great under a shirt sleeve it does have some of the hallmarks of the Louis Cartier tank watch all intact. It's the grained silver dial, which is uh, a little bit off-white. It's one of the standards for the Louis Cartier tank. The Roman numerals that are printed uh, on, the, on the surface painted. And you'll see not only uh, are they uh, the Roman numerals, but you have this great inner minute rail track that uh, is standard to most of the Louis Cartier tank watches. You also see the hands are the blued steel. In some lights, they look black, but when you catch a glint of the light, they are blued steel, sword-shaped hands. And on most of the men's watches, you'll see that the thin line of the V in the seven is not actually a line. It's a micro printing of the word Cartier. It's not the one thing that I would authenticate a watch from, but I've personally never seen a counterfeit watch that got it right. So it's one of the things, if you get out of loop and really look at that micro printing of the word Cartier in the, hidden in the Roman numeral, that's a real strong sign that what you're looking at is an authentic watch. Of course, everything at Swiss Watch Expo is 100% authentic guaranteed. 
Our owner is a Cartier trained master watchmaker. Every single one of our watches have been completely authenticated. They've been inspected and verified and we stand behind that 100%. One of the interesting things that has happened with the launch of this watch is that it sort of competes with another watch within the Cartier range, the extra large Tank Solo. Now, the Tank Solo is an interesting watch. It replaced the Must de Cartier as a more entry level watch, but you can see the aesthetic is almost identical to the Louis Cartier Tank. The dial's a little more silver. It does have a second hand. It has the word automatic above six o'clock and it has the date aperture at six. So there's a little more going on. Uh, the, the dial on the Louis Cartier tank is uh, famously sparse and very sophisticated. The Solo doesn't have that. You can see that the, the cabochons they use on the crowns are different. On the Solo, it's a synthetic spinel. On the Louis Cartier, it's a natural sapphire. So the sapphire looks naturally darker. It's also smaller. But look at the difference in the thickness. The Louis Cartier at 5.1 millimeters thick is completely different than the 7.8 you see here on the Tink Solo. Much uh, thicker watch, but not, not quite as large. Um, the Tink Tilt Solo does have um, a little bit of a domed back, and that's because it's an automatic movement where the Louis Cartier is a hand-wound mechanical. But the back on the Solo is also stainless steel, one of the places where they try to save you a little bit of money. Uh, the other big difference when you're looking at the two is that the sides of the tank watches, here's a, um, a nickel term you can use at a party when someone asks you why you chose that particular Louis Cartier watch. They call the sides of these watches brancards, not just bezel, but brancards. Uh, it's an obsolete word. Uh, it really means the uh, litter that's drawn behind a horse as a, like a stretcher for someone who's wounded. So again, we're sticking with the military terms. But you can see how the sides of a, a tank watch, they sort of look like the sides of a stretcher. Uh, it's really beautiful how they're integrated right into the lugs to hold the strap, one of the classic hallmarks of a Cartier watch. But these brancards on the tank solo are flat on top. I don't know if you can see that, but on top of the Louis Cartier, they're rounded. So it's actually a different case shape, instantly recognizable if you know what you're looking for. Uh, but the tank solo is roughly half the price of the Louis Cartier. So if you're budget conscious, budget savvy, the uh, Tank Solo might be a good pick for you. On the other end of the spectrum, we have this beautiful 18 karat white gold extra large Louis Cartier tank. Same dimensions as the rose gold one, but with factory set diamonds on the brancards. And uh, the 18 karat white gold deployant buckle included. Again, the closed case back to keep it at that 5.1 millimeters thick. So this is a gorgeous watch, would look great on men or women. Really any of these three versions would look great on men or women, but give us a call. We'll be happy to talk you through the various choices on sizes for Louis Cartier tanks. Uh, one of our favorite watches here at Swiss Watch Expo, a watch with a long history that uh, has a lot of colorful people in it, uh, celebrities. If you just Google celebrities who have worn the Cartier tank watch, you'll be amazed at the, the level of sophistication that you'll see of people who really could have worn any watch they want, but they chose this tank watch as their everyday watch over and over. Uh, so click like, subscribe, give us a comment, tell us what you like, what you don't like, and uh, we'll see you next time here at Fresh From The Showcase at Swiss Watch Expo.